Congratulations, you have safely arrived at lesson a week number eight for the song Mandel Brought Set. Here is my A string so you can get in tune. Alright, first things first, I'm going to show you the, uh, the intro and a riff that appears in a lot of the song. I'll have a chord, uh, a chord thing on the right labeling what these chords are called, but the riff is played just like this. You have almost what a, a B5 chord would be. You have E, B, and an F sharp here. For this whole riff, you only play these low three strings. The next one is uh, this just E major chord. It's so you have E, another E, and a G sharp. And the next one is you just move one fret up here to this uh, e sus4, then to another E major. So these, these three chords are like this. There's a little hammer on to get that E sus4. This is what it sounds like, so the riff will sound like this. Find the, the good hand positions that you're going to need for grabbing these chords as you move up the neck. It's real tough to sing this one, for me at least, and uh, to sing and play at the same time. So make sure you take it slow and practice it. Uh, the next chords that will follow in the song are uh, some standard chords that you've used before in some of my previous videos. You have A major, you have F sharp minor, A major, B7, so, I'm going to play the whole verse section for you with those chords. In fact, that riff comes between most, uh, any time where there's an E chord, you actually don't use the normal E voicing, you just... Then you have the, the pre-chorus, which has uh, A major 7, which I play it like this. I use my ring, my middle, and my pinky to grab this chord because of the next chord you're going to do. Here's A major 7. The next chord is an E major 7, so all you do is you keep these fingers where they are and slide up to the 7th fret. And in the pre-chorus, for those repeats, you do F sharp minor, B7, and then that leads straight into the chorus. The chorus actually not so bad at all for when he's discussing the formula. All you have to do is you have E, ma you have e major and B7. You don't even really need to put the pinky on here because you're just playing the, the four low strings. You're going like this and you're switching between the two. You go like this. sort of mute those right away. Okay, and after the and so on part, you have A major, B7, G sharp major, and here's a little bit of a walk down. You have C minor, B major, and A. For the B major bar, I usually just grab it like this, and don't worry about the high F sharp note here. I just grab the, the highest note I play, this right here, this E flat or D sharp. And the final chord of that would be B7. That's the first half of the chorus, and I'll play that first half for you. Next part, you have B7, E major, B7, E major, then it comes E7, 
seven with the pinky right before it goes to the ending of the chorus. You're going to do a chord here that's sort of, it's like an F-sharp 11, I think is the, the name of it. You're going to do an F-sharp major chord, except you're going to leave these two high strings, the E and the B. Leave them open. Don't fret a note. So make sure your, your pinky, your, I'm sorry, your index finger is pressing directly on that F-sharp. And that chord sounds like this. Or you could just use your thumb however you feel comfortable. And the next chord is just an A major 7. So it switches between those two. So here's the whole chorus starting with the B7 chord. all the chords that are on the song. I'm going to play through it and I'm going to follow up on a suggestion from a previous video where I'm going to let you know what part I'm at in each of these songs. I'm going to skip um, the second verse so you're only going to hear one chorus and then I'm just going to go to the ending because the, the ending is it sort of repeats itself but I'm going to point that there's an extra riff that bridges the second ending. So here's the whole song without vocals and I'll let you know where I am. straight to the chorus. In the uh, end part, there's a little tag where there's just another riff that separates the repeat of uh, that part with the change the world in a tiny way. So make sure that when you get to that part, you just throw in one of those. So that's the song. I'll be back next week with the live version of Code Monkey. See you then. Bye.